Hello everyone, my name is Adriana Gamazo. I am from the University of Salamanca in Spain and I am going to present our paper entitled Do Teens Hold Sexist Beliefs? An Assessment of Secondary Education Students' Attitudes Towards Equality and Gender Roles. This work was a part of my co-author Natalia's end-of-degree research work, which we thought it was ex excellent, so we wanted to share it with you all. The main aim of our paper was to assess the attitudes and opinion, opinions that teen boys and teen girls held regarding gender roles and equality, and whether these attitudes and opinions would be different between boys and girls. Our sample was composed by 335 secondary education students from the province of Salamanca in Spain. We used a non-probabilistic sampling based on convenience, but our subjects uh, came from three schools located in three very different contexts, which was uh, a city, a medium-sized town and a small town. And as you can see in the table, we had participants from ages 12 to 16. We used a previously validated instrument, uh, which was elaborated by uh, Garcia Pérez and collaborators in 2010, which was entitled Student Attitudes Towards Co-Education. Uh, this scale uh, was composed of 30 items, uh, which asked, about, uh, asked the students uh, to which degree they agreed with uh, several um, assumptions about gender roles and equality. And the instrument had three dimensions, social, cultural, relational, and personal. Before we started the study, we wanted uh, to make sure for ethical reasons that we had both the principal and the family's permissions for the participations of the students who were minors. And was, once we ob obtained that, we went to the schools and we applied the instrument in a paper format and we performed uh, the following analysis, reliability and normality, descriptive analysis and a hypothesis test. Um, we did a hypothesis test for gender, which is the one that we are going to present in this paper, and we also did it by age and by school of precedence. These are the main results uh, of man witness u uh, analysis for gender, and uh, as you can see, uh, there are differences in all the items uh, according to the gender of the respondent. Uh, in this case, uh, one would be uh, no sexist belief and five would be the highest sexist belief. So as you can see, uh, in general, uh, girls hold uh, more egalitarian belief than boys. The greater differences were found in the relational dimension in items that had to do with uh, how people conduct their relationships. For example, uh, it is normal for boys to take revenge on cheating girlfriends. It is better to fake agreement with your partner to avoid arguments or, or it is impossible to understand women. Uh, in all these items, boys scored higher than girls. And uh, on the other hand, smaller differences were found in items that talked about specific roles in jobs and houseworks. For example, uh, women should work more at home, uh, girls can be anything they want. Uh, in these items, both boys, boys and girls show no sexist beliefs. Uh, it is remarkable that in, while in most items, uh, that is 27 out, out of 30, showed significant differences according to gender, However, most items were scored uh, below 1.5 1, 1. Uh, points out of 5, which demonstrate that the sample does not exhibit uh, highly or even moder moderately sexist views. Um, as I said, uh, the sample exhibits positive results on gender roles and uh, some worrying results in, rela in the relational dimension, uh, which means that boys exhibited some harmful views on, uh, of relationships. Um, on the other hand, uh, in all items, girl sho girls showed a higher general awareness of gender inequity issues, and also girls showed more uh, homogeneous answers, that is, answers that showed less dispersion. Uh, finally, uh, this work has some limitations, uh, especially the 
the possible social desirability bias in the response uh, to self-reports, and also a limited sample. Thank you very much.